Hi, Estelden here. This is Soulless Dreams. It is a Doom 2 mod. It's like a total conversion. So I hadn't actually heard about this until about a week ago. And I heard it was a Silent Hills and Dark souls -y type experience. And I was really, really intrigued. To get something like this out of the Doom engine just seemed unheard of to me. So to be playing something like this, and I can say I've played it for about half an hour so far, and it definitely delivers. It's not perfect in, in any way, shape or form, but it's a very wonderful old school type experience that brings you back into those old style of games with the Dark Souls twist with some great boss battles from what I've seen so far and some fantastic areas to explore as well. Now, diving into the game to give you a bit of brief backstory on it, you're playing as the girl in the bottom left corner. She's a bit of a loner at school and then suddenly the world goes to shit and here you are. I mean, I saw the story cutscene when it was like 3 a.m last night, so I really was not completely taking it in, but it seemed really cool, and now we're into it, and as you can see, looks pretty crazy. We've got the classroom, and then we've got the black walls and everything behind, and there's some creepy music in the background. You can we read the chalkboard, and this is like a, a hub. It's so basically like a hub world, so there are these doors which take you into worlds, as far as I know. So I've been through this one, and we had to battle this knight he was. So we had to build his armor set, he turned into a knight and attacked us, and we managed to fight him down and get rid of him, and that's his diary. So exploring this little hub area very quickly, here we have the chalkboard, and we can see it. Within this dream, I shall take my solace. And, yeah, it's just repeated. It's like The Simpsons or something. So we've got that to start with. Now, there's these diaries. So I had to read this diary first, Ali, Ali's diary. And that allowed me to enter that first world. So we're going to read another diary, which should take us into the next world and really dive into the real, real game, I suppose. So we've picked up Laura's Key. There's a book here also. Laura's Diary. Mirror, mirror on the wall, the pretty girl heeded my call. A reflection of myself is my realm, the mirrors in my lair at the helm. So this should let us go into another world. This door leads to the gallery and it is locked. Maybe I can open it somehow. Let's try this one. Story is reserved for community made more. Okay, right. All right, well, that's, uh, yeah, that answers that. So we've picked up this key as well, Victoria's key. We're not going to read the diary. Too much reading for now. Let's see if we can get in. Okay. So this, the tone of this is way different to the first world. The first world was just like a, it was like an old school, I suppose, like, uh, I don't know if it's like a prison. There was like a jail underneath. It was like a little old school castle with like a little courtyard. But now we're in something that looks like it's out of Deus Ex. So I'm not sure what to think. Seems like there's a lot. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so this is like modern day. So very, oh shit. So, very clear that it's not just like a one style sort of game. They're really mixing it up. So, this is intriguing to me. So, I don't... Oh. Alright. So, we're just melee attacking. There is like a strafe you can do to dodge stuff. So, it's not just hacking and slashing. You can move. And as we can see, I fucked up a bit there. Oh. And I'm by no means a pro. I'm sure I'm playing the game absolutely incorrectly. We seem to have threaded the eye of the needle though and we've gotten rid of the witch or whatever she was so we're going to use a health item let's see if i can select it yep so you select your items with the number keys f i've made it so i can heal so let's do that and that little bar you see will if it's if it's red it's good that means you're on high health so these little cameras are basically they're like the saves system basically so, so like resident evil or whatever else you click on them to manually save, and I, I really like that. I think it's always good to have manual saving in any sort of game that's going for a horror vibe, because I reckon, basically, the fear of losing progress is often the scariest thing about a game in some places. I'm actually playing Ori and the Will of the Wisps at the moment, a pretty good, like, uh, fantastic art, fantastic gameplay, but uh, just a really good, like, Metroidvania. And one of the flaws I have with it is that anytime you die, you respawn, like, literally a second from where you died. So it means you don't really have to take any care with the game whatsoever. So I, I like the manual saving. It's a nice old-school thing that I always like to see return. Now, we've picked up Submachine Magazine, and here seems to be the actual Submachine Gun. So we've moved on from the knife. I want to remind everyone that we've been only using the knife previously in my half an hour or so playing. We did the whole first area with just a knife. So clearly we're having a bit of variety and now we're going full doom because we've got the real gun. And what have we got here? Victoria's Notes. I was quite sure I was at school a moment ago. Well, what ifs? This place is hella better than that dump of a school. I just love the music here. 
where has this club been all of my life? This reminds me of Duke Nukem. Nice work. All right. Oh. All right, so the bartender's not pleased. Oh, is that? Oh, oh I said I thought she was shooting me with her tits or something, but I'm, I'm thinking too much of Redneck Rampage. Here she is, here she is, witchy, witchy. We've already killed her once with the knife. We can do it again. Health, looking all right. I'm not gonna bother trying to like strafe around. All right, so we've got the other one here. This is not going too well. Uh, oh, oh, oh. All right, we're gonna heal, we're gonna heal, we're gonna, we're gonna reboot, we're gonna recover. Let's deal with this. All right, we're gonna go for the big boy healing item. Let's get in. There's another guy there behind us and another guy here. I'm down to one healing item. And there's a witch. I think we're fucked. I think we're fucked here. Okay, so we're back here because apparently I picked up the wrong key. So the reason I was dying, the reason I was being so shit, wasn't because of me, it was because uh, I just didn't know where to go. So what we're doing now is we're going to pick up Lee's key here, which we've done, and Lee's diary, survival of the fittest. So they say, you'll be no match against me today. The strong beat the weak. Since the beginning, you won't live to see another day again. For with my strength, I've laid to waste countless opponents who now run with haste, fearing my muscles, cowering at my sight, and so you too shall fall to my might. So the good news is you're going to see a couple of the levels. So we've seen the nightclub, and now we're going to be going into Lee's Domain. And it's a school. And it's very dark here. I went in just to have a quick look, and I got a prompt that we're going to need some light. So I imagine we're going to be getting some sort of torch because i saw a torch in the control settings when i was doing the key binding so i'm gonna very carefully have a bit of a look around we've got these lockers and i cannot see shit i've got the glare from behind me as you can see and then oh we've got this elise notes where the hell did everybody go i just went to the bathroom and nobody's around and it suddenly got dark it sure did i can't see shit what do we got here we can't click on this one so we've got the staff room Please don't be an enemy, because we're not looking good at the moment. We've got no... Oh, actually, no, we've got two healing items now. That's not bad. Oh, we've got a gun. Okay. The animation actually looks really good. So, uh, just the art, the art style and everything here, it's uh, truly amazing. I've really got to check out more of the Doom mods, and I might do that and see if there's some really good custom levels and stuff that I've missed that are, like, I suppose much better than the campaigns or the the no campaigns we get these days from fps it's probably the best way to go about it so let's have a look okay so we got some crying going on i don't know if we should be wasting ammo this thing doesn't look hard okay all right so we're back using this i've got to remember that you can use the space bar to like pull back so you're not just getting hit all the time. But I like that the animation really collates well to whether you're going to get hit or not. And the animation noise certainly helps as well. So, good stuff there. Now, we really need something so we can see what the fuck is going on here. Good variety of locations. Toilets looking spick and spam. That's disgusting, it says. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. And that's disgusting. Alright, we're going to get more of it? Yep. Can't see anything in there. Looking good. We've got this, though. Lee's notes. Something weird is going on here. I'll head back to room 107, I think it says. It's about time for science, anyway. I wonder if there's a clue of some sort in room 107. I'll lock up 107. Let's have a look. I've got to say, though, this area was so much easier than that fucking nightclub. I think that nightclub's, like, one of the last areas. Apparently. I mean, I guess you could go them into them in any order, but most people I see online seem to be going there towards the end of the game when they've got a full arsenal of weapons and it kind of makes sense because i was picking up like shotgun ammo and handgun ammo and i only had one weapon so is this 107 yes it is here we go looking nice and safe there's not a chance that there's going to be anything that's gonna really just break our spirit i would think let's have a look now we've got some ammo and we haven't fired a single shot yet so we're just stocking up when we get to this boss, who I assume is going to be Lee, there's the key, the classic... Oh, God. Come on. Why would you break the light? I picked up a key and that broke the light. What the hell am I even doing here by now? I should be training at the gym. Something's not right. I'm heading it to the courtyard. Okay, so apparently this head torch is something we could pick up. So I didn't realize that the first time. So now 
We press four, we got the torch on. Fantastic. Now, I don't know if there's a battery on this. That's the only thing. So I don't know if we need to be, like, careful with it. But I guess any time it's nice and light, we will turn it off. And now we can progress on. And I think we needed to go, like, underground. There was, like, some sort of generator. Reminding me a lot of the school in Silent Hill 1, where I think you actually do find a generator of some sort. So... Certainly not hiding their influence there, and you know what? I don't mind it because that game was really damn good, I would say. They did some fantastic work with that. So let's press on. Is there going to be more of this, the crying little kids? Oh, man. I hate kids. Okay, so we've got the key. We've got our torch, so we can actually see what the fuck we're doing. And now we're going to go down into this generator room. Fuck. Have we got the wrong key? Maybe that key that I got was actually for one of these up here. You can see these little dudes, they're really easy. So I've got to say that to enjoy this game, I think, to the best of its ability, you probably want to just have a quick look at the walkthrough, which I did. I'm not ashamed to say, or I kind of am, but I'm going to act confident about it because otherwise I will hate myself. Now, you want to find, you want to have a quick look because otherwise you're going to end up just going into a level. that Because it seems like you can go to pretty much any level from the start, or you've at least got multiple choice. And I think this is just naturally feels like the second level. It feels a little bit more similar to what the first level entailed, where you were just going around with your knife. You didn't even have any weapons. So going from that level to the nightclub level, pretty jarring. You're straight into shooting mechanics. There's a lot of hard enemies. I would advise anyone to go into this level next. So go from the first level, R. Lee, then go to Lee, which is this one. And now there's surely got to be one of these classroom doors that we can open. Here we go. Hitting once, jumping. Uh, you need to actually hit first for that strategy to work. But that's pretty much what you're trying to do. So these damn fucking chairs and desks. Will there be any more writing on the wall? Nah. All right. So can we open one of these lockers and find what we need to do next to progress? Let's have a look. It's really nice being able to see something. So now we've got the basement key. And we can press on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right outside the door. That's like Dark Souls 2 level of surprise right there. Where you just get those enemies that just seem to sort of appear just in the wrong place. But more keep appearing. So that's fucking it. They're not doing much damage though. Like I've been hit a few times and I haven't had to use the healing item. Alright, there we go. There we go. Now we can go down to the basement. But we have to go around this maze to find the set of stairs or whatever it is. The ramp. Alright, more of this. More of this. Gone. Now the weapons... So far I'm liking the weapons, but it's really just going to be a question of how survival horror it's going to be with the bosses, where... Basically, I got to the end of that nightclub level just to kind of check it out, and I just did not have the arsenal available to kill the boss. I didn't have healing items. only had a couple of magazines of the submachine gun, and killing the boss just wasn't really happening. Maybe someone like actually good at the game probably could have done it, but certainly not for me. So I think... It is going to be like that old school experience where if you just don't have what you need to kill the boss, then you're going to have to restart. So you want to be careful there because you can get into a situation. I don't know if there's another way to set the saves, but I think you can like... I think it like over overrides saves automatically, at least from what I found so far. So you've got to be careful because you might run into a situation where you just cannot complete the game. That to me is okay. I don't think this game's going to be that long. What did we just do there? That seemed to do the trick. The water has been drained. Let's head back to the bathroom. Head back to the bathroom. Have we been? To oh, no, we did go to the bathroom. That's right. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's right. I remember that. But, yeah, so you can get to a situation where you just can't complete the game. So be wary. Maybe don't do what I do and just jump in. Actually check to see if there's a way to manually do the saves. Or if you just want to see the game, if you just want to see the levels and you don't really care, I think you can, like, use the console option to actually skip levels manually. Anyone who's actually experienced with mods is probably knows how to do that, but I'm talking about it for dummies perspective because that just makes sense for me at the moment with my lack of experience in this game. Okay, so the only thing I'd probably say from the level design perspective is it might have been designed a little too much with like no obstacles and nothing kind of obstructing and, and kind of making the level design a little bit more interesting. Because I found this in the first level as well. You've got the jail and you can go into all of these different hallways and like different doors. But they're like half of them are locked. 
And it's the same in here where you're like going around in circles looking for where you need to go. Whereas I think maybe some more barricades, things to make it not linear. You don't need to make it like st completely streamlined, but just enough for, for there to be more level design than just the location that you're able to navigate through. I think there's like a key difference there and Dark Souls does that extremely well. Okay, so room 115. Apparently there's a secret in here. So we're gonna go through, are we gonna, oh geez. Is that like a projection? Jesus Christ, this is like, what, what is the movie? It's the 13th floor? I don't know if many people have seen it, but it's like the world turns into like a computer. It kind of looks like that. Jeez. Okay, so there's a ton of shit in here. So this is worth doing. So if you're planning to play this and you want to know about this secret, room 115. You need the mystery key and you can go through there. So that is fantastic. And I probably cheated a little bit so I could make sure I killed the boss, but that's fine. Totally fine. Level up. Ooh, picked up the pistol, level up. So now the pistol, which we haven't used by the way, so we got full ammo. We've got all of this bonus ammo. And now we're gonna make, we're just gonna make mincemeat of this boss. We're gonna first try it. It's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I can't wait. Let's get down there. Here we go. We've got enemies at our tail, but we've got the boss to fight. Here goes Mr. Lee. Okay, he's got his gym equipment out. He's a big boy. Let's have a look. All right, so this guy is very standard looking. I was expecting like a demon sort of thing, but this guy, he's just Lee. This is just Lee. It's just like Dragon Ball Z or something. Okay, now that's what I was expecting. All right, all right, so not good, not good. We haven't got too much of a strategy at the moment. I'm just kind of, I've got to watch the ground more so than him. Okay, we got him halfway, halfway down. Health's looking good, healing items looking good. Don't want to use too many. I want to have more for the next level. Getting there, getting there. Got the handgun next once we run out of this. Okay, okay. I'm just going to keep moving in this like circle. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. It is hard watching your inventory while you're trying to dodge this shit on the ground. Wow. This gun actually does a fair bit of damage, like more than the submachine gun. And the apparently the bonus thing we found, so this is why it's really worth getting that bonus, is it gives you a free shot. Like a free extra shot. So when you fire the gun, you get another shot at the same time. And we're going to finish this guy off. I haven't really nailed this strategy by any means. I imagine you want to be like sort of far back. And you probably just want to use the pistol. And you want to... So you've got more time to avoid stuff. So that's what I'd be trying to do. Overall, pretty cool boss. I'm going to be headed back to the hub world now. I like this game. I think that especially for a conversion mod of Doom, it's very unique. I haven't played a whole heap of total conversions for Doom. But this one really grabbed my attention. It was probably the only one that had me going, right, I need to download this. I'm going to look up how to use a mod with GZ Doom, I think it is. So overall, yeah, really interesting game. If you're looking for that Dark Souls Silent Hill experience, as you can see, this is straight out of Silent Hill. It's probably going to be for you. So you should give it an install and give it a bit of a try. They're going to keep improving this apparently, or he's going to keep improving this. And it's eventually going to release on Steam. So it's a little bit easier for everyone to access. So I'm going to show you now how to go about doing that if you've never used a mod before. So to get Solar Streams working, it's actually really easy. I was worried it was going to be a pain in the ass. I'd have to go doing a whole bunch of troubleshooting, but it's really simple. So the only thing you need to do first off is you do want to have Doom 2. So you can get it off GOG pretty cheap. Most of you probably already have it or it's hiding away at some point. So you've got Doom 2 installed. Now you've got... Z Doom, so you've got a or Z Doom for all the the Americans and the rest of the world, basically. So Z Z Doom, you come on here, and I downloaded this one. So G Z Doom, Windows 64 bit, whatever's relevant to yourself. You download it there, you get it installed, and then it's pretty much just as simple as running it. You'll see it all there if you've got Doom 2 installed. It seemed to to find it all pretty easily. So to download Solar Streams itself. An easy way and a really good resource is this doomworld.com link. So if you Google it, it'll be the third one down. You'll jump in here. Plenty of resources on the game. A lot of interesting stuff. This actually helped me as well. It'll actually offer... This guy's offering like a full walkthrough of the game. So you can find all the secrets. You can do all of that if you, you scroll down and you click through everything. Strategy. But download's where you want to be. So you get a few options here. Go through... Click on one of the links, download the game, and what I've done is I've just saved it over here to make it nice and easy. And then if you go onto Solar Streams and you just have to click on Launcher. So if you open the Launcher, it'll do its thing, GZ Doom, and then it should take you straight in. I had to change the resolution. 
So it was originally on my screen resolution, which is 1440p, but I did have to end up changing it to looking through here. I changed it just to the other one. It seems to have gone out of full screen, but if you go on that one, 1920 times 1080, I had a better experience. So see what works for you. Then you can pretty much just jump straight in and it should be nice and easy. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much and bye-bye.